Hey guys, this is OZV Movie Reviews. My name is Alder Brigham and welcome to another movie review. And today's movie review is going to be Escape Room, which is this new mystery psychological thriller slash horror film it took from the director of Insidious The Last Key. And this movie is about these strangers, which they all receive these mysterious box, which make them invite them to go to this escape room place where they complete all the challenges and mysteries. They win a trillion dollars. Therefore, it's all going to be a fun game until it turns into a complete life and death scenario. Now, I was very interested in this concept because the escape room games are actually still holds up to this day. You can invite your friends over, solve mysteries and puzzles. It's just a fun, interesting game. And I like when they took that concept into a horror film. I really like stuff like that when they took something that's fun, enjoyable, and make it into a complete nightmare. It's very interesting how they did the concept to this film. So I was very interested in this film. Even though this movie took from the director of Insidious Alaska, which I really didn't like, I still think this looks like a fun, like, awesome horror film. You know what I mean? Like a horror film you could just watch with your friends and just see, oh, that part's clever. Or oh, this is not perfect, but you know, it's still a lot of fun to watch. Unfortunately, this movie was forgettable. And I kind of expected that as well because the trailers don't really impress me. I was just expecting like a fun popcorn horror film, you know what I mean? But I didn't enjoy this film as much as I wanted to. But don't worry, Escape Room had some impressive scenes. Like especially the look of the rooms in this movie. They look completely amazing. That's the thing that kept me saying this movie's not terrible. It's not. Because the rooms on the movie, the set, looks absolutely amazing. Literally. There are a lot of parts of this movie that I'm thinking... How did they do that? How did they film that? It kept my interest and the look of the rooms in the movie look absolutely amazing and I think they did a really good job at handling the set. It's fantastic in this movie. The biggest issue with Escape Room is the characters in this movie. They are complete assholes. You literally don't even care for every single character in this film. There are a couple of characters that I do care a bit but all the characters are complete dicks in the film. Like they're basically insulting each other. I also keep thinking to myself how would I like these characters? How would I root for these characters to escape the room? I root for them to die. I'm going to be completely honest. And some of them, of course, did die because it's so obvious. Not everyone has to live. It's like so cliche throughout these days. I don't know everyone in this film, except for that chick from Daredevil. So everyone's new to me. And they tried their best with their performances. But just with the characters, the script, the dialogue, it's just completely completely unused. Also, this movie wasn't as intense as I wanted and not scary. And I know this movie is trying to be like the PG-13 of Saw, but literally, they're supposed to make this terrifying and it wasn't scary. I honestly think the trailers are way more scary than this movie. Even though I wasn't excited for the movie from the trailers, at least the trailers had some pretty clever editing choices. This movie's editing choices are just all over the place. Like, the literally, the editing of this movie was very, very all over the place. There's so many cut shots and all that stuff. And it makes this movie not as intense and as scary as I want it. And there's so many parts of this movie that do not make sense. Like, how did they do that? How did they do that? How did they accomplish that? Even the freaking final act in this film that I'm literally thinking, what the hell is going on? The ending of the film feels like it's written by a completely different writer. It just makes me sick. I hate, here's why I really hate. I hate endings that set up for a sequel. They just do this for the sake of making a sequel. And I hate something like that. And the ending even doesn't make sense. It's just completely different characters and all that stuff. It's like, you don't even get what's going on through this movie. I really hate movies that set up for sequels that are just for the sake of setting up a sequel. If you want to set up a sequel, first make this movie as a movie on its own. And if it won best, like, box office money, then make a sequel. And find a way to make a sequel, you know what I mean? Like... Don't do it right away because you don't know what could happen. That's my advice to every single director making the first deductions out there. That's my advice. Do not make movies that sell for a sequel. Make a movie on its own and wait till the box office runs. If everyone liked it, why not? Do a sequel. Go ahead. You get all this money and you make the sequel. This movie looks like it's going to fail in the box office. That is for sure because Escape Room is definitely not a fun film. Not intense. The sets do look really good. And that's the thing that I say... This film wasn't terrible. It does have some impressive scenes. And some of the scenes were quite fun to watch. It is watchable. But this movie definitely is one of the most forgettable horror films of this year. Definitely not the worst. I could put in my dishonorable mentions because it's a movie that I did not enjoy. But it had some impressive scenes. So I kind of appreciated that. It's like one of my Minga teachers said. You don't have to like the movie. But appreciate it for what they do. And I do appreciate this film. But as a film, it is very bad. It's not that great. It's very forgettable. I'm going to give Escape Room... A mat rating.
So guys, let me know down below if you have seen Escape Room. Do you like the movie? Hate the movie? Thought it's okay. Just let me know in the comments below. That's my review for Escape Room, guys. Make sure you guys follow me on Facebook, Stardust, Instagram. Keep contact with me, and make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. And have a nice day. And they all look just the same.